Hello again and welcome to our second tutorial video and on this one we're going to be focusing on voting. Now this is a really important part of the Line Dancer website, firstly because it gives us a nice reflection as to what dances are popular out in our dance community, uh, but more importantly it helps us to determine which dances should be nominated for the Line Dancer Crystal Boot Awards. So the more times a dance gets voted for, the more likely it is to get nominated and therefore has a good chance of possibly even winning. So first of all, we've logged into the Line Dancer website, which is linedancerweb.com and I still need to log back in. So I click on login and type in my information. You may find that it remembers you, so you might not have to log in every time just how I've set it up this time it means I need to log back in and hey presto I'm in so there are one of two ways to put votes in the, cheap, uh, the quickest way is to go via charts which is up here so this is going to show us what dances are currently popular in the chart so far as in which ones have been voted for now at the moment it just gives an as an overall image of the charts, i.e. it puts everything together regardless of level. But if you wanted to look for a particular level in particular, you can see it here, there's a drop down menu and you could look for a set level that might be of interest to you. But I'm going to leave it on all so that we can see all levels together and look at the full picture of the votes. So as we scroll down, we can start to see different dances that already been voted and the brilliant thing on the new website it also shows us how many times they've been voted for so here it shows Morning Sun by Robbie McGowan Hickey it's had 145 votes and that's already a nice sign because that's showing that there's been quite a lot of new votes since the website has been introduced now a really quick and easy way to vote for something here is to look over on the right hand side near the big red view dance box and there's these new icons that say vote now. So if there's a dance that you particularly like, let's say it is morning sun and you want to vote for it, all you have to do is now click the icon. You will find it refreshes the page, which may slow you down slightly, but as we scroll back down again, we can now see that morning sun has a tick next to it, and it says your current vote is still active, i.e. the vote you've put in is still being counted and I can keep scrolling down and I can look for other dances that are ones that I want to vote for so for example I've taught Winter Green and I really enjoy that so I'm going to click vote now for that one and I say unfortunately it does refresh the page at the minute this might get corrected I don't know and I keep scrolling down and there's a great dancer I think a fan love I recently did that with one of my new classes so I'm going to click a vote now on that because I really enjoy that and we keep scrolling down to see more and it keeps going and going and going and we can see lots of things so there's a really good one there stomp down so I'm going to give that one a vote as well and there we go so I've put a few votes in nice quick and easy way by just doing it from the charts and if for example you did search by the level then for example let's change it to intermediate because most of the ones I've just voted for were intermediate I have to click this change chart button so the list will be very similar but now it'll only show me the intermediate options so we can see faithful soul willpower soul shakes and that actually I really like soul shakes let me put a vote in for that one now if it's done correctly it will stay on intermediate votes on the intermediate level. Um, sometimes it can go back to the original chart so it does the full lot but hopefully it won't do that to you. So that's our first way of putting in a vote for a dance. The obvious issue here is that what if the dance is not being voted for yet or is very low down the charts so that it's quite hard to locate. Better option is to literally find the script itself. So I'm going to look for a little dance called the Boat to Liverpool. So I search for it up here in the top right hand corner and once I put the search in I press enter. And now the website's looking for scripts that have got the boat to Liverpool in. 
Now we're going to find a few options. We've got four here. And it could be any of these if I wasn't sure. Now I know it's this one here that I'm looking for by Ross Brown. Little helpful thing is we've got videos and reviews for this one. So let's just check it. So we only click on the title. It opens up the page specifically for the boat to Liverpool. And with there being a video there, we're very fortunate that if you wanted to check it, you could watch the video. And if it matches the dance, you know, you know you've got the right one. So we've got a few buttons down here at the bottom. And they're all ways of checking what the dance is about. So we've got view script. So if you wanted to look up the actual script itself, you click on this first option. The next option on is add to my library. So this is where you could have it stored for a later date and you can look back at it when you've got a bit more time. The third option, which is the important one, is vote for this dance. Fourth one along is ideal if you're an instructor, you can click mark as taught. And then last but not least, we've got add my review. So reviews are good because obviously that gives you an opportunity to share an opinion about the dances. But in this case, I just want to vote for it. So I'm going to click on vote for this dance, which is the middle button. The page will refresh. And as you can see now, it says I voted. So it shows that you voted for it. And you can also see over here that the number of votes has also changed. So that's looking quite promising. If I have taught it, so it might be an instructor, you could also click on the mark as taught. So it gives other people an indication that you're teaching that dance. And as I said already, you might want to leave a review. So you might say that you really like the dance, or it might be that you found a particular part of it a bit challenging, and you might want to share that with others. So you could put in a little review by clicking on Add My Review. So you can put a little comment in and share that with others. So that's the best way of putting new, uh, new votes in for something that you can't find in the charts. So once again, let's search for something else that um, I've recently been teaching, so I'm going to search for Rain Dance by Tina Argyle. Now, it is handy when you're doing these searches to know the choreographers, so if you go to a class and the instructor doesn't, doesn't normally mention it, maybe start asking them to do so. But then there is other options as well, so your instructor might be on some kind of social media like Facebook, and if they put the links on, uh, hopefully they'll start linking the Line Dancer website as well and you'll be able to quickly find the page that you need. So yeah, Rain Dance by Tina Argaard, the top one here. So I'm going to click on that. So ideally, if I see your instructor uses social media, they could possibly send a link to this page now, and that would mean that anyone who's looking could go straight here and be able to get the script, and even better still, they could start voting for it. So again, I want to vote for this one, so I'm going to click vote for this dance. So that's how we put votes in. Now what we want to also do is check how do we uh, review the ones we've got and make sure that the ones we want to keep are still active and the ones we want to bin get taken off. So in this top strip we've got a handful of buttons and towards the right hand side we've got one that says my votes. So let's click on that now and it's going to take us into the profile and it's going to take us into where our votes are. And as you scroll down we can see different things. We've got the option here to change it by level. So you could just check which votes you've got for a particular level. You might decide not to do that. You might decide well let's look at them all in one go. And as you scroll down we can see all the votes I've put in so far. And on the very right hand side there's two buttons. The right hand button, uh, so the left hand button of the two, is a renew button. So as this timer drops down, so instead of it saying 31 days, there you go, so instead of 31 days, let's say it said 20 days, you might think, actually, I still really like that one, I want to renew that vote, so I'll click on renew. And all that's going to do is it's going to refresh it, it's going to make it more active, and as you can see, it's now at the top of the list, which means it's the that's you voted for most recently. The second button, which is the right hand one, is your opportunity to remove that vote. So it might be that you've changed your mind, it might be you voted for it by accident. So here's a great opportunity just to scrap it, such that you're not 
voting for something unnecessary. So we click the second button, so I'm going to do it on the boat to Liverpool. And as we scroll back down, we can now see the boat to Liverpool isn't receiving a vote from me anymore. So that's a really handy way to make sure that your votes are up to date. So as this timer drops down next to these, if there's something you want to keep them going, just press renew and it will refresh the timer for you. And if you want to get rid of it, press the second button and it will just scrap it all together. But these are only for the votes that are still working. So these are what you call our current votes. And just to put this big red button where it says show votes, we've also got the word expired votes. So as that 31 days has expired, you'll find that some of your dancers move into this category. Now I haven't got any of these because the Line Dance website hasn't even been running for this time. But I believe when we get to this stage that it will look very much like your current votes. It will look like this. Instead of it having a timer though, it will just have the two buttons. So you'll have the option to renew it and the opportunity to scrap it still. And I also suspect that over maybe another 30 days they will be deleted altogether. So they won't just keep staying there, it will come a point where they are removed. So that's how we look at voting on the Line Dancer website and I'll say it's really important to try and do it because it gives the community on a whole an indication as to what dances are popular and it also helps to nominate the right dances for the Crystal Boot Awards so that certain dances in particular don't miss out and therefore hopefully the wild card won't be full of all these dances that have missed out and actually they'll all be in the right categories in the first place. So that's a great way, first of all, is to look through the charts and just put a click in the icon on the vote button and if you can't find the dance going through the charts, try using the search option which is either in this top right hand corner or you've got this left hand icon which also says search and you could search in this part too and hopefully find the dance you're looking for. And once again, if you happen to have an instructor who is using social media, please hope, please encourage them to link the line dancer scripts to the pages that I've shown you already. And by doing that, it will give you an opportunity to get right to where you need to do the votes for them. So hopefully you found this informative and will be making good use of it. Thank you very much.